Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Lechner, an endocrinologist at UCLA Health. Today, I want to talk about one of the most common thyroid conditions we see, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. If you have been told that you have Hashimoto's, or if you're trying to learn more about it, you're not alone. Hashimoto's is the most common cause of an underactive thyroid in the United States. It affects millions of people, especially women. So what is Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition. That means your immune system, the body's defense system, mistakenly attacks your thyroid gland. Over time, this can cause swelling and damage. As a result, your thyroid may slow down and stop making enough thyroid hormone. This leads to a condition called hypothyroidism. Hashimoto's usually develop slowly. At first, many people don't notice anything wrong. But as thyroid hormone levels drop, you may start to feel tired, gain weight, feel cold, or notice dry skin, constipation, and even mood changes like depression or brain fog. Some people also notice hair thinning or changing in their periods. We diagnose Hashimoto's with a blood test. We check your TSH levels first. TSH is a signal from your brain that tells the thyroid to make hormone. If your TSH is high and your thyroid hormone, called free T4, is low, it means your thyroid isn't working well. We also check for thyroid antibodies, such as TPO antibodies, to confirm that it's Hashimoto's. A common question I get is, do I need treatment? The answer depends on your thyroid levels. If your hormone levels are normal and you don't have any symptoms, we may just watch and check your levels again over time. But if you have signs of hypothyroidism or your labs are abnormal, we usually start treatment. This means taking a daily pill called levothyroxine. This is the same hormone your body makes naturally, just made in a lab. It's safe, it's effective, and once we find the right dose, it usually restores normal thyroid levels. It's important to know that Hashimoto's is a lifelong condition, but with regular checkups and the right medicine, it's manageable. Many people live full, healthy lives. Some patients ask about diet or supplements. There's no special diet that cures Hashimoto's. We recommend eating a healthy, balanced diet and making sure you get enough iodine and selenium. Most people in the United States already get enough iodine from their food, so high-dose supplements are not needed unless your doctor recommends them. Sometimes Hashimoto's causes a goiter, which is an enlarged thyroid gland. This may cause a feeling of fullness in your neck or a visible lump. It's usually not dangerous. We can monitor it with an ultrasound if needed, but most of the time, no surgery or other treatment is needed. One last thing, Hashimoto's can run in families. It's also linked with other autoimmune conditions such as type one diabetes or celiac disease. If you or someone in your family has these conditions, your risk may be a little higher. To recap, Hashimoto's is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. It's caused by your immune system attacking your thyroid gland. Symptoms include tiredness, weight gain, feeling cold, constipation, and mood changes. We diagnose it with blood tests, including TSH, free T4, and thyroid antibodies. Treatment is usually a safe, daily pill called levothyroxine. Hashimoto's is lifelong, but manageable with good care. A healthy diet helps, but there's no cure. If you have Hashimoto's and have questions about your thyroid levels, symptoms, or treatment, we're here to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Melissa Lechner. Take care and be well.